Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $98,706.39. In the past year, I am up $27,515.56. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $8,313.14. Today was a green day for me. I made $77.87 during the day. And then after hours, I am up $438.97. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling LUV $28 covered calls. These expire July 5th. My total return, I am down $315. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expired July 19. My total return, I am down $116. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expired July 19. My total return, $220. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $520. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $546. I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls. These expired July 26. My total return $93. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expired July 26. My total return $46. I'm selling Disney $110 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return $9. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $186.84. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $26,370.94. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.48. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $5,142.60. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $102.15. My average cost, $60. My total return, $12,645. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $22.40. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $4,875. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28.50. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, $235. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $184.10. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $4,162. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $59.31. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $322. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $79.30. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, $230.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $115,000. $353.72. My margin used is 
which leaves me with $12,331.08 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $46,456.15. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest I am paying is $17.71 and I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So another green day, I'm happy about that. Still hovering around $98,000, $99,000, somewhere around there. So uh, for now I'm satisfied, but I hope things really do pick up again and I get my portfolio back up to 100 k or more. I haven't changed anything today, it's still the same positions I had before. I'm just sitting back and waiting now. Now, unlike before where I had a lot of like different groups of my positions expiring at the same time, now I have like one-off situations. For example, LUV, this is the only covered call I have that expires on July 5th, then nothing else. Now there are four of them expiring on the 19th. And then two of them expire on the 26th, but then Disney also, it's a one-off where it expires on August 2nd and it's the only one. So it's really not grouped like it was before. There's like little one-off situations. Uh, but yeah, the closest one that's expiring is going to be the LUV $28 covered call. Now this expires on July 5th. That's a couple weeks from now. Actually, that's next week. July 5th is uh, next Friday. So that's coming up soon and hopefully works out well. Now, LUV is above $28 right now. It's $28.48. So if it stays this way, the shares are going to get called away. But to be honest, I'm not like super desperate to keep Southwest Airlines anyways. And I've already made quite a bit of money from uh, premium from previous covered calls. All right, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. I will be making more portfolio updates in the future. So if you guys want to see more content like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.